Salams and salutations. Uh, so, for context, this is in Phoenix. The Phoenix Tenants and Residents Association have, over the past few years, been in, engaging in a running battle with the developer Jay Singh for certain uh, residential complexes. Now, he has a court order to evict people from these prem from his premises who have not apparently not been paying their rent. A few months back, there were some forceful evictions. Um, evictions still continuing today. Now, he has a court order, as far as I know, and he's entitled, according to law, to do the evictions. Of course. In the process, elderly people, children, etc. are being thrown out on the street with nowhere to go. And this is a sore point and it's a point of contention amongst the residents and others. Now, the Phoenix Tenants and Residents Association, as far as I know, have a high court matter on hand to challenge uh, Jay Singh that is currently in the high court uh, to challenge these evictions. In fact, these people have entered into a, uh, a rent-to-own agreement with the developer Jay Singh, which he, he apparently has reneged on. I think that's why they're in the high court. I don't know all the details, but I'll give you the gist of it. Now, according to the affected residents, out of sheer desperation, they reached out to the EFF, who nobly took on their fight, took on their cause. Now, over the weekend, I think, or last week, they had a, had a picket outside the spa, which is owned by Jay Singh or Jay Singh's son. They were peacefully protesting. Now, today, peacefully protesting again, but stating clearly that as of tomorrow, no more peaceful protests. They said they cannot... Uh, guarantee that there'll be a peaceful protest. They will be stopping people from entering uh, that spa, which is owned by the developer, forcibly trying to shut down that business. So the public will not be able to shop there. Workers cannot go to work, uh, cannot earn a salary. Businesses in the center cannot operate, etc., etc. You know the joke. Now, the affected residents see the EFF as the silver bullet to fix the problem, which nobody, has, according to them, has been able to help them. Only the EFF has come to the aid. They're willing to take that out and get there, even if it means violent protest. So that's what the EFF is saying. They can't guarantee a peaceful protest. They're going to now engage in a, in a so-called violent protest to get their demands heard. Uh, now, see, as far as I'm concerned, um, that doesn't sit well with me. You know, since our forefathers arrived here, uh, we have maintained our decorum and self-respect. We've never resorted to violence to address our issues but maybe that's an outdated practice. Maybe we have to resort to these matches. I certainly don't agree with resorting to violence. I don't agree with what the EFF is trying to do. But but that's just my opinion. What's your opinion? What do you think? Is it time to do that? Let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, tell what you master, tell what you create. Casey Mudley, champion for the Charles Bar. Tondala, with the masala, Panyaji Rachili. 